Hello and welcome to the show. I am back on Project Cars 2 tackling the snowy Nurburgring once more. Today we are going for, well, something that is actually pretty well suited to a snowy Nurburgring in an attempt to beat the Bentley. The LMP900 Bentley was amazingly fast and if something is going to go quicker than it, well... A rallycross car might stand a chance. I've gone for the Mini Countryman uh, because as much as I hate the Countryman in just about every which way, I kind of like using it as a rallycross car because it's different and nobody else uses it really. Also, this one's got a fun livery on it. So <laughs> that's why I've gone for the Countryman. Uh, yeah, this is a vehicle that around the corners will be fast. Not in the same way. It won't get speed in the same way that the Bentley gets speed, but it will get speed. It is, however, severely limited in a couple of areas. Primarily straight line speed. Now, I'm not allowed to adjust the setup for the cars. I've not adjusted any of the other cars to be suited to racing on snow, and likewise I'm not allowed to adjust the rallycross car to be suited to the, well, the strength, the lengths of the straight, sorry, at the Nurburgring, which means we're going to hit the limiter. We're going to hit the limiter all the way down the long straight. We might, we probably will actually hit the limiter in a number of other places as well and be stuck. I don't know what this car's top speed is going to be, but it's the game record is 165. I think that's pushing it, quite frankly. We're probably not going to see much more than maybe 145. I don't know. And I've got one lap here. One lap with the Mini to try and beat an 8.14. It's going to be a very different sort of lap to just about everything else you have seen go before. Because this is going to have the traction, it's going to have the grip, it's going to have the setup to be thrown around. And if I'm going to get any speed out of it, some throwing around is uh, going to have to be done. There will be more Scandinavian flicks and more sideways stuff uh, out of me here than you would normally see. Now I can't do that through every corner and there are going to be places where we are going to have to be mindful of the mini but yes it is going to be a case of uh, flat out, I'm going to be flat out around a lot of this lap. Uh, we've got a little traction uh, to do it. There are places you know where I'm going to still be mindful of braking zones and whatnot. I can't be sideways everywhere and in places sideways isn't going to be faster uh, anyway so yeah I'm going to be places where we are uh, a bit careful, I will be able to get full throttle out of basically every corner uh, <laughs> around here, which is nice. Uh, nice and everything, but as I said, there are downsides. We're about, about, wow, this is really not very quick at all. We're going to top out 132 miles an hour. That's not great for the Mini, considering we've topped out down the first even slight straight we've come to. Oh, that's <laughs> on two wheels across there. Carefully does it. And then I guess we're going to be flat down here. Uh, for this car, as strange as it is to say, I actually want a car that has a lot of front end grip. I want to be able to kind of Scandinavian flick my way around corners rather than have to be using kind of handbrake because I'm going to be using the, well, just booted out of the corner to sort of sort things out. Uh, so I'm happy if this car, if we have a lot of turn in and we can then, there we go, that works for me, a lot of turn in, look out the uh, <laughs> left side window and figure out where you're going. That's fine by me, we're going to be flat again and on the limiter on our way down here. Don't know what we're going to have in terms of, at the end of the day, yeah, we're in a rallycross car, there's still a limit to how much grip we've got on snow. There's still a braking performance limit in this car. Now what we can do is chuck the car in through here and then kind of work our way out the other side. However, when you've only got one lap, you've got to be very mindful. Chuck it around too much and you are going to end up losing yourself some time as well. This car is gaining its lap speed entirely, entirely differently to the Bentley. Uh, I can't be, it's not really sort of being smooth through the corners. It is, yeah, just out and out aggression and it's fun but I'm slightly nervous that I'm going to stuff the Mini in a wall somewhere in a way that I wasn't in the Bentley. <laughs> if we are going to get a good lap time out of this car it is going to have to come from well yeah driving like this and there are going to be <laughs> strange new risks for us to uh, well concern ourselves with. Don't do that please. A little bit carried away on the uh, 
It's kind of a bumps on the road. Oh, struggling to get that turned through there, but we have got it eventually. This should be a fun corner for the <laughs> for the mini. I mean, we still got still got well. I say issues. We're still got to be careful with the uh, with the braking. It's still you know very possible to lock up in all of this. Yeah, this this will definitely win in terms of amount of time spent at full throttle by a long long way. Can we get through there and out the other side with no problem? We can indeed. And then a <laughs> little bit of slow down coming up the hill. We'll chuck it through there again. <laughs> it's it's good fun. Like, even the, the all-wheel drive skyline, you couldn't drive it like this. It just didn't have the grip or the setup to really make it all work. I could probably have been well, maybe I could have been flat through there. It's actually got a little bit funky on its own through that one. Let's just chuck it in. Oh, that's a little bit too much chucked it in. We might have kissed the barrier. I think we got away with it, though, so that's, that's fine. We don't <laughs> if it's just a light tap on the barrier, as long as it wasn't enough to uh, cause the car any serious grief. Oh, it's not fun at these, like, 130 mile an hour turn-ins. I don't like that. I really don't like that. I guess sort of the sus soft suspension, the amount the car moves around, uh, it doesn't feel very nice. Uh, <laughs> through there. Doesn't feel very planted or stuck. It's just kind of... Ugh. Yeah, that's not fun trying to do those corners. Don't know how much speed we can get away with through here. Uh, a decent amount. Again, now that time when the back end starts stepping out, once I'm, once I'm sort of ready for it, once I'm kind of committed to some of these corners, I'm okay with... It's... Yeah. <laughs> it's an interesting, an interesting thing to drive and then we will dump it down in towards the hairpin, go very sideways on the way out of it, and keep foot down. Uh, we're not going to do anything stupid around the carousel, because I don't really know uh, what the car's going to want to do on the banking here. So we will potentially be a little bit more sensible, because I don't... Ooh, okay, because we're just going to escape the banking. We did not really have much grip to carry around there particularly, but never mind. Uh, <laughs> no idea what I'm looking at, how I'm looking at in terms of lap time. But we've also got to bear in mind that uh, we are not going to be doing much speed down the uh, main straights here. How fast was the Bentley? 170, 180 mile an hour? Can-Am car did a 200 mile an hour down there. Uh, this is going to do 132 for the entire thing. It's going to make a horrible, horrible noise. I'm going to have to put the, uh, like in <laughs> the, uh, the game audio quite low for this one because literally all you're going to have heard... Oh, there we go. We're going to clunk the wall. I knew I was going to eventually run out of skill. Uh, just misjudge one of these corners. Uh, it's the, the, the difficulty in driving, well, in a style that is very different to how I would normally drive and when you have one lap to try and, well kind of drive aggressively and keep control of the rally cross car. Uh, yeah, this is really the only way you're going to make a huge amount of speed, I feel, with this car. It doesn't really... I have driven these cars, trying to drive them sensibly, and it, do <laughs> it doesn't really work. And on snow, where you don't have much grip anyway, uh, you kind of just make the most of the speed where you can... Uh, where you can get it. Now, are we gonna end up, we're gonna end up a little bit over the curb. Again, I mean, I'm keeping two wheels on the circuit, so I'm not, I'm <laughs> not too fussed about that. Um, yeah, I haven't gained any time from going off the track in this, uh, in this car. Oh, are we gonna be good? Yep, we are gonna be good through there. Trying to get that front end to behave a little bit. And yeah, <laughs> we have, we have run wheels across the grass and close to the grass on a number of occasions already. That time we were all the way up the curb. Oh God, and you can get away with catching moments like that. You would never catch that in another car. You do that in another car and you have had it. You do that in the Bentley, as good as the Bentley and as good as the Ford were. If we'd done that in either of those, that would have been a tremendous, tremendous crash. But this is a vehicle designed to deal <laughs> with, well, I mean, maybe not with a snowy Nürburgring, but certainly designed to deal with uh, tricky climatic conditions as we now head up towards this long <laughs> this very long gonna be very painful straight I have a feeling we might not be that far away from the Bentley in terms of time at the moment we may even be uh, I don't know actually I think as we come onto this straight we might still be a fraction behind that Bentley the problem is the Bentley's quick very quick down here I'm, I'm nothing I can do. I've not even got my hands on the steering wheel. Well, I did for that little course correction. It's just, it's 132. <laughs> it's nothing. 
There's nothing else. You've got 30 seconds to get to the end and make it around the corner. I don't think you're going to beat an 8.14. I gave it everything I could on that lap. That is, that is everything I could get out of the car without really badly smacking it into a wall somewhere. Oh, that's horrible through there. It's not going to be enough. I can't get these next corners quick enough. I mean, we will get the traction out of here in the ways that the Bentley couldn't. We will get the speed through here in the ways that the Bentley, the Bentley could not. But yeah, it's, we're not even around onto the final stretch. Even I was even too late on the brakes there, really. And we're going to be slithery and a slidey around the final turn. We stamp on the accelerator up towards the line we go. It's 8.29. It is a second place. There's no, <laughs> there's no hope in stopping for turn one with this, uh, with this car because it has got such a launch out of that corner. Uh, Eight twenty-nine point four. It'll go second. Still fifteen seconds down. That's <laughs> still, that is still some fifteen seconds down on the uh, LMP Bentley. Perhaps more impressively, it's only 15 seconds faster than the <laughs> Ford GT, the GTE car, which is some feat for that, that GTE vehicle to be so close to a uh, rallycross car around a circuit that should, should very heavily suit this vehicle. Yeah, of course it's got traction. You can be flat out around huge portions of this circuit. It isn't the easiest of cars to drive in some ways. And I know that's going to sound strange, but honestly, the Bentley was, a, I think, an easier car to drive than this. Uh, with this, if you try and drive it normally, it gets a little bit unhappy. It doesn't have a huge amount of grip if you try and drive it normally, and it's a bit inconsistent. So you drive it, well, kind of aggressively, a bit like a lunatic. And then it is, well, it's kind of a different sort of driving. You've got to try and judge things a little differently. Um, yeah, it uh, was an interesting experience, to say the least. It was an interesting experience, and for everyone who has been requesting that I tackle this in a, uh, in a rallycross car, it's fast. Of course it is. It's going to be. It's not going to be as quick as an LMP car. I'm surprised by the gap. I thought maybe the Bentley stood... So Bentley, Bentley was so fast around here with that downforce and so on. Maybe it stood a chance of, of giving the uh, Randy Cross car troubles. Uh, I didn't expect there to be such a humongous gap between, uh, between the pair of them, but there we go. If you want to go racing in the snow, you don't need a Randy Cross car. You actually need an LMP Bentley. That's going to be it for this, uh, for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.